Hello, this is going to be somewhat of a serious uh, subject that I'll be discussing today. Um, there's a YouTuber, he's quite a big YouTuber, uh, called Alex Day, or his uh, username is Nerimon, and uh, his videos, some of them are musical, and some of them are vlogs, and some of them he mentions sort of sexual subjects. And I, I've always imagined that that's uh, one of the reasons that he's so appealing to uh, a large audience is because he so freely mentions sexual subjects that I imagine a lot of people think he'd be really easy to talk to about things like that because he wouldn't get embarrassed about them um, if he so easily talks about them to thousands of people all the time. Um, but that turns out to not be the case as far as recent accusations go because you can't tell him anything. Um, it turns out you can't tell him no and being able to tell someone no in sexual relations is one of the most important parts. Um, recently on Tumblr there have been quite a few accusations against him really. There have been at least six that I've seen. Um, <clears throat> I'll read a couple of things on lexcanraw.tumblr.com it says <clears throat> that uh, I went to Alex's flat to stay for the week as we were friends. Alex kissed me and I stopped him. I told him I didn't want to as I was getting recently over a breakup and wasn't ready. I told him I just needed him to be a friend. Alex ignored this and continued to kiss me despite what I said. So that's one of the first blogs that I saw where he went against someone's wishes even though they'd specifically said no and given a pretty good reason for that. And then there's a few blogs that are anonymous against him. For example, this one, Peppery Salts, uh, says, I met him when I was 17. Uh, we were sleeping in the same room as just friends, I thought, but he woke me up by kissing and touching me sexually. I'm going to repeat that. I was asleep. I had fallen asleep and I had stated my desires previous to that that I wanted no sexual contact with him and he woke me up by violating those wishes. I know for a fact I'm not the only girl he's done this with. So I don't want to read all of the blogs but I just wanted to give some very clear examples that he went against. Um, people's wishes and in these accusations against him. Um, I use the word accusations but I think it's pretty safe to use that word loosely considering that on that Alex Day's Tumblr he has practically confessed to, to these being true. Um, although stating that no one's pushed him away, you know, or, you know, it's sort of vaguely denying, but still calling them victims, um, he has practically confessed. Um, I saw someone on Facebook say that he'll probably get off on technicalities and, like uh, people not remembering dates or something, but I think the technicality he's going to get off on here is that people are con uh, ac accusing him via Tumblr as opposed to via the police. Um, and I think that these people, it would be very useful if they did report these things to the police. Even if they can't remember dates or if they can't remember exact things or something like that. Uh, I would really urge anyone properly involved in this situation at all to go to a policeman or, or a police station or even fill out a, a, one of the forms on the, on the police website you know, you don't even have to go to the police station if you don't want to physically, you don't feel like you're ready to go to a police station yet. You could do the online form, um, but I do urge you to properly report this to the police. Um, last year I was uh, kidnapped and sexually assaulted and the police officer that I dealt with um, told me that I was at least the fifth victim but that the pe people before me had refused to 
make a proper statement. And uh, I think it's important in these circumstances that, although it might be hard, you try your best to uh, properly report these things, to properly, properly get this heard, as opposed to just telling Tumblr. Um, although I would like to uh, commend these people for their bravery of telling Tumblr or coming out about these things at all, I still think, you know, I, I'm still going to urge you uh, to tell the authorities yeah. People have been saying a lot of things about this uh, this incident on Facebook and on YouTube at the moment, and um, some of the comments I find uh, a bit offensive. Like I saw someone yesterday say, "Oh, it's just Alex being Alex," um, which is really ridiculous, um, and other people defending it. It's uh, really. That's not the way to go. Um, I think as a community, people should try and be supportive of the victims here and um, support this to coming to a, a proper conclusion, which results in him having to pay for his actions, really, in some, in some manner.